hello what's up youtube ronix with it and actually in industry i want to show you guys how to create and save your camera presets uh, that are going to fasten your color grading and on top of that make you have uniform colors in every image and that you do color grade in camera so just want to do some adjustments then you're going to be looking at how to save those uh, presets and also apply them to the image so we are right now in the camera interface and details about this image. I took this image using a Canon 60 camera and ISO 100, 85 millimeter at, at f4 at 1 out of 500 of a second. Yeah, basically this image was taken using natural light. So we just want to create a preset and that we're going to be applying maybe on most of the images. So first of all, I shot this image using a temperature of around 5700. So the very first step for my color grading is to convert the image in the picture profile or camera profile that I shot in. So for this case, I shot my images. Since this is a raw image, it will have this option right here. I shot in Adobe Landscape. So I'm just going to select Landscape and you can see I've gotten back those rich colors already. So I'm going to first of all turn down my highlights just like that uh, to get back the blown out uh, sky and also do the same for my whites just like that and you can see right now we have gotten a uh, read of the blown out details and it is the advantage of shooting yeah, in RAW then also I'm going to turn down my blacks just slightly and also come to my shadows and just pull them up just like that a little bit then since I feel like the image is now looking uh, a little bit over saturated I'm going to come all the way down to the vibrance option and I'm just going to turn down the vibrance to around negative 5 and also turn down the saturation then I'm going to come and turn up my clarity I think to around 3 but since I feel like I have so many magentas in this portrait and it is an issue with ca Canon cameras so if at all you have so many magentas simply come to the tint and you're just going to turn the tint towards the opposite of magenta which is the green side so we're just going to move this towards uh, the green side just like that and you will notice that we have gotten rid of uh, the magentas and you're getting a color close to the skin tone of uh, the model just like that then after we have done so we're going to co we are going to come rather all the way down to the hsl panel and hsl basically means hue saturation and luminance so we can uh, play around with these colors so since we are targeting the skin tone of the model i'm going to come to the oranges and you can see when you come to the hue of the oranges and you turn it down you're going to notice that you're adding magentas or some reds to the oranges and towards the right you're adding greens to the oranges so we're basically going to move this just up i think at around 10 yeah around 10 it is fine so you can see the before and the after so far and uh, right now i want to play around with the greens right here because i feel like the attention is being taken away from as a model so i'm going to come to the greens of uh, under the hues and uh, take them towards the blue side so when you take it down you get, you're going towards the yellow side and when you take it all the way up you're getting it towards uh, the blue side so i'm just going to see what works best for this image i think uh, towards the yellow side is okay so let me see I think I'm also going to move the yellows towards uh, the orange side uh, to have this kind of autumn kind of look. Then I'm going to come to the saturation and drop the saturation of the greens just like that. I hope you are seeing the effect right now. I'm just going to drop it down towards uh, negative 81 and do the same for uh, my yellows but uh, just a little bit around negative 10 and now you can see that uh, the image 
has the attention is now on the model and the distraction in the greens has been dealt away with so i'm going to come to the luminance remember luminance is more about the lightness or darkness of a specific color in the image for example if at all i come to uh, the blues of this image and turn it up you're going to notice that the blues are getting brighter and when i come all the way down towards uh, the blues i'm making the blues in the image are really uh, darker but that is not the emphasis i'm just going to knock down the blues slightly so that the water in the background can have that kind of pop kind of feel added to it so I'm going to come to the hues of the blues and also move it towards the green side. So you can see when I turn it down, you're going to notice that we have so many greens or you have that kind of teal look. And now when you turn it up, you have some kind of magentas or some kind of uh, purples added to the blues. So just going to come and just knock it down slightly. So uh, what I forgot to tell you is when you look at this hue option, you can see we start from the reds right here and end on the reds. So basically uh, how this is moving is you go from red to orange, then from orange to yellow and from yellow to green and from uh, green to aquas and from aquas you go to blues. And from blues, this is more like uh, an S kind of move. So basically, this is how it works. So what we're going to be doing, I think we are now uh, done color grading this very image. And now we just want to maybe create this preset for this very portrait. So in order to, you can even add some kind of sharpening if at all you wish to. So let's first of all play around with the calibration before you can save this preset. So we're going to come to the reds and you can uh, simply drop down the saturation of the reds just slightly. And you can uh, play around with this to see uh, what works best for you. So I'm just going to leave it at 2. And I think this is all. So let's save our preset. You're going to come right here and just click that. I'm sorry about this. I'm just going to hit Command Z. So we are going to come to this option and we are going to come to Save Settings. I hope you have seen what I've just done. So we are basically going to come right there and come to Save Settings. And under this, it is going to bring up this window. I hope you guys can see it. And this window is going to be containing everything or every adjustment we have done add to the image and you're going to notice that everything is going to be checked so if at all you don't want your preset to contain maybe a particular slider or a particular move on a particular image you can simply come and uncheck that option just like that so you're going to come and hit save and now we can name uh, this preset maybe to a uh, tutorial just like that and you can choose a location where to uh, save your preset so for this case i think i could i would love to save mine on my desktop and just hit save and the preset is going to be saved so we want to see if at all we can apply this a uh, preset or maybe this very image so we, we are just going to come and we're going to uh, reset uh, what we have done to this image so we want to load this preset uh, to be applied on this particular image so we're going to come right back to this option right here. And we're going to come to load settings. And when you come to load settings, look for where you saved your preset. So I'm going to look for my preset and I, na I named it a tutorial. And I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to come to load. And you're going to notice that it is going to load the settings the way we had. I wanted them to be in uh, the camera filter and you can continue heading over to the skin retouching process in photoshop by clicking open and let me show you guys what we had the before and after rather this is the before after before after so this is how to create your presets in camera Raw to fasten your color grading process and if at all you love this story don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching from this channel for the very first time 
Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.